Wolfmanes, who decides to go with the Lucina versus Charlie Sheik. So neither of these two Wolfmanes opting to go with that first character choice. It is going to be Charlie Sheik against K9's Lucina. K9's getting two consecutive nares, one from just a bit of a ledge get up, but Charlie deposits him on top of the platform. Landing up air, but no back air. And actually managing to trade with that Dancing Blade as well. Connecting the second, third, and fourth hits of the Dancing Blade as well, but with weight and shield from Charlie, fades back with an air. Dolphin Slash gonna be a bit of a punish. Got the drag down up there, but nothing afterwards. Perfect shield gonna be followed up by nothing in particular. But a dancing blade a few seconds later. Down tilt will get him off stage. Rolls around that though, and the bouncing fish. I think K9 is out of a jump. And Charlie will just capitalize, smelled blood there, and decided to go in. We'll put him on the other side of the stage in the Dancing Blade at ledge. Very close. Air dodge, is that gonna cost? It will not. Sheik's directional air dodge. Air dodge, excuse me. One of the quickest in the game. Doesn't cover an amazing amount of distance, but that time the Miss Tech is gonna be met immediately with the Dancing Blade. That side special using all four hits immediately. K9's not gonna fall too far behind. K9's gonna be shuttled across this entire stage with Charlie just through a couple of combos. The Diamond Cutter on top of the platform. Narrowly avoiding death there. We saw the Sparks had to use the DI to survive there. Run up, down smash, full foot K9's towards the other side of the stage. Wish the grab and Charlie's gonna land with another aerial. Safely retreats after that bouncing fish and just meets the shield. Can use the up special to actually just retreat out of there. Running dash attack. Up air. And it's living once again, but that time scouted out with a bouncing fish. Not too perturbed by that though. Canine's going with an air to apply just a bit more damage. Dolphin Slash out of shield, leaving him on top of the platform. And Charlie off stage. Bouncing Fish, meanwhile, K9 is responding nicely. Oh no, and just an unfortunate misinput there. We saw Charlie just shake his head there. A bad misinput is going to cost him with a side special. Both of them onto the final stock, and that Dolphin Slash out of shield is going to put K9's very close, but Charlie extending the lead a little bit with these needles. Into the throw. Going low for the trump, but K9's recovering high. Had time to get a bit of charge on the F smash, but not too heavy of a punish coming out because of it. And what Sheik's F Smash lacks in pure kill power, it makes up for in its decent range and pretty excellent safeness as far as most F Smashes go. It is possible to cross up between the two hits as well. Down Smash though, is he gonna cover the neutral getup? And K9's Bruce is gonna careen towards that left corner blast zone. Charlie the King's Sheik manages to recover from that quick mistake, is gonna take game one. Canines not wanting any more of that is just going to switch back to the wolf. The 
grab though. Down throw to apply a bit more damage. Gets through with an air. This is where Charlie can start to make his presence felt, but only 13% off of that. F smash is just gonna be caught out by Charlie. Down tilt, Texan place. Sure, Charlie actually wanted to leave him on top of the platform, perhaps for a diamond cutter, or at least something, maybe a drag down up there, as he got right there. K9 is going to reverse the situation. Dash attacks in the other direction, but the patience and shield is going to be caught by some of those needles. Blast here just to interrupt him before he can get every needle charge. Scoop hitbox though of the up smash not to be underestimated with all that rage that was tacked on. Canines is going to take the first stock and Sheik, one of the lighter characters in this game, so is going to be taken off the top. Just out of the range of the pair, but he's just going to roll back for the second time. Bouncing fish though. Canines did not drift back at all. He was DIing in the entire time just to get back to stage. And unable to get a neutral grab off of that parry because Charlie was just fading back the entire time. One fair to grab into the down throw dash attack. Something that Charlie is familiar with. He's done it many times on the other end. Dash attack from Charlie though is going to put k on top of the platform. And the bouncing fish. I think k still has a jump. He does. Wall cling at ledge just to mix it up. Counter angle F tilt will put Charlie back into disadvantage. And it's gonna be living. Falling there. And that time he just ran up, had a bit of time before he went for the up smash too. I think he just wanted to bait Charlie into releasing and then dropping his shield. But even not deploying that shield, no tech roll inwards for the down smash. Worth noting that Sheik's duck animation does go under these blasters unless you get hit by the bayonet hitbox. So at mid or far range, you can use that option. from Charlie though, putting K9s at 149. What a roll read from Charlie to King using the F smash in the other direction. And K9's Bruce had nowhere to go but right to that right blast zone. Putting a stop to all this momentum that K9s had built up. Nair into dash attack though, getting that soft hit of Nair and converting off of it successfully. And it's just facing backwards and calls out the jump with the back air, getting the strong hitbox to boot. k Bruce's evening the setup at a game apiece. A strong will to not let that roll read phase him and k getting his reward. But he's gone back to his main. Is Charlie going to do the same? Is he going to switch to his Lucina? I think he wants to go all chic. And it looks like he's going to. Worth noting that at yesterday's Hollywood Action Tuesdays, Charlie got taken to game five in grand finals and did not opt to switch off of the Sheik. So have to imagine if he has the confidence to do that, probably is gonna weather the storm with his character here. That dash attack though, gonna leave him right in the midst of Wolf's F smash. Second and third one will not connect. Crosses up with Nair though. Downward angle, F tilt as he goes to ledge. 
now holding in for the up smash. Rolls outwards, and that F smash is going to be on top of the shield, but Psycho on top of the platform. Mirror dodges out of that up to uh, up air, excuse me. Jump is going to be sniped from Charlie. Excellent, perfect shield as well. And wanted to go for that bouncing fish that served him so well in game one. Get more applied pressure with a blaster. Forward throw. Oh! And I'm pretty sure that was unattackable right as Charlie was returning to the stage. That Firewolf is just so vulnerable at all stages, but up tilt will carry Charlie off the top. Fair into down throw dash attack as well, working out. That time the shield cross up is gonna be spotted by Charlie. That up throw fair from Canines attacking on. Dash attack actually not going to be punished by the Nair and whips the grab, so Charlie will have the opportunity to press advantage state a tiny bit more. This tech on top of the platform, and Canines just is being met with all these moves. S smash just away, but. Had to use the full extent of his recovery. Is he going to flash back? Yep. Charlie spotted that well, but missed time to tilt. That down tilt is going to catch him. Rolls away from danger. And that up air is just going to carry him straight to the top. Charlie has managed to turn around this situation nicely. Fourth throw going to leave him on top of the platform. Second place. Crosses up with a dash attack and gets the, I think the softest hit of neutral air I've ever seen from a wolf player. Too soft to even really convert off of it. Back the grab though. Two blaster hits coming out. And using that outstretched foot of the up smash to erase Charlie's second stock. Frame 13 out of shield for a character that doesn't really have anything more than blaster out, uh, than reflector out of shield at frame nine and Naren Fair at frame 10. And with the amount of range it provides, why not go for it? It's only three frames more. And smash in the other direction. Got the air dodge, but not the positioning. One jab in the wrong direction, but fades back with an air and met with that F smash, but he had the time to pull out the shield. His tech. Drag down up air, though. Bouncing Fitch out of the range. K9 without a jump, gonna flash. Tech's in, or does not tech, actually. Air dodges inward. No punish on the up air. Back air gonna be perfect shielded by Charlie, and flashes back before Charlie can get any edge guards going. And that time, another up smash is going to be the end of Charlie's third and final stock, just like how the first and second ended. Charlie noticeably angered by that. Well done from Canines there. A few missed punishes on both sides, and that's going to prompt the switch back to Wolf from Charlie. He needs business now. Game four of this set between the two of them. As we get this Wolf Ditto started. Canines in the black and red. Charlie in the purple. Fair to dash attack, and that time another Nair. He'll skid off the stage, but landing Nair into the grab from Canines. This time landing Nair into Exil. The back air as he wants to go on top of the platform is going to be reflected back to framed with that F tilt and goes deep in the air. Charlie the King manages to take that first stock in about 30 seconds or so. 
the aerial on top of the up smash is getting the up tilt afterwards. Did well against the Sheik, but he's looking lost in the ditto here. That time got the sweet spot hitbox of Flash as well. And that time, k finally able to take one stop, but Charlie still with a healthy lead. Fair in the grab, down throw dash attack, fairly standard wolf things. Neutral getup actually had enough time to shield before the up smash came out. Up blaster and another two frame with the up tilt. Charlie the King has hit two of those, both of which have led to K9's first and second stocks going out of the range of down throw dash attack. Ending there. Second so a fair, fair up tilt from Charlie. Baron and Nair into dash attack. That time he used the Firewolf to just rub up against the side of the stage to delay the timing. K9 wants him and gets that F smash. Was fishing for a couple of back airs, but if Charlie's just gonna air dodge in, that's gonna be an invitation. Canines has a window of opportunity back into this game. That fair on shield though, certainly punishable. Out of the range of back air. Spot dodge. Nice from Charlie. Strong Nair though. Air dodges through that, but the back throw is gonna be very close to killing. Has to reflect another one back and yeah, that flash just took him past the ledge, which K9 was not aiming for. Going to be an immediate F-Tilt from Charlie, bringing this to a game five. Is Terry? We see the Terry Bogard. Certainly giving it a thought. Canines, of course, with a bag of characters, has the Lucina, Wario, Sheik, Wolf. Probably at least one more that I've neglected to mention. He'll go back to the Lucina this time. We see just a quick shout out to Nito in the background. He'll be in the other semi, but this one is going to a game five. A coveted spot in Grand on the line. And this is a very strange matchup. Because everything that Wolf does is gonna be outranged pretty much by Lucina, with the exception of downward angle that tilt. Any aerial option, Lucina can pretty much outrange. Any tilt besides that down tilt is pretty much gonna be in Lucina's favor, but the combo potential from Wolf is just too great to ignore. Which will get up, but held out the shield in time. Air dodges to make it back, and Charlie was not ready to punish, but he did get that neutral getup into the F smash, into the up smash. Both hits of Nair connecting and gets jabbed. And Nair, and he's turning around a couple times. Perhaps showing his cards a bit too early, aiming for the back air. And lands into a half-charged up smash, too. Up air though from Charlie, and very clean. Excellent tech underneath the stage, and a crucial one from Charlie, as he's able to get net tilt afterwards. Not being punished on that up smash though, crossed up and a good perfect shield from K9. I think that would have been very close to breaking the shield if he didn't. away from Flash and baiting out that up smash I'm sure K9 was expecting at that time. 
goes through the dancing blade too. Parries the second hit, and that gave him enough advantage to be able to get that. He's gonna go for the Nair, he is. And despite losing his own stock, with K9 out of a jump, that's gonna be the end of his stock as well. Charlie's just saying, I don't need mine stock. I do not need my stock at all. I just need yours. Tackle out from Charlie as he's one singular kill away from advancing in the winners finals. Back here is gonna trade nicely. And K9's at 116 after the air, a bit more after the blaster. He did dip above the ledge, so Charlie with a properly spaced. Oh wow, he got the flash and the strong hitbox as well, spiked and rebounded off the stage, off the top. Charlie the King in five games is gonna take K9's out and into the loser's bracket and puts the exclamation mark on that particular set. As after this, it's gonna be a switch in commentators as we're going to get Tempo and one other onto the microphones. I've been Bronkopoulos. Do not go anywhere, more Wednesday night fetch more Wednesday night fight matches coming up 